Hey, guys! Welcome to Film and Animation Recaps and today we're covering the 2011 comedy The Change Up, starring Ryan Reynolds and Jason Bateman. Definitely an adult theme and a little over the top, but I enjoyed it. Before we begin, remember to leave a like, a comment and of course, subscribe to Film and Animation Recaps if you like the breakdown. The film begins by introducing us to Dave, a husband and father of twins who is awakened by his two children crying in the next room, gets up, goes to another room and changes their diapers. They wouldn't let him out that easy, even though the first baby threw formula in Dave's face and the second baby pooped right in his face. Dave always gets it done and after changing their diapers, he takes them into the living room and sits on the couch with them while they drink their milk. That morning when Dave went to work, Mitch called him one of his best friends, someone he hadn't seen in a while because he had twins and was busy with work and life. His life in general. That's how the dad talks on the phone we see Mitch in his apartment. He's stoned and his apartment looks like that if you ask an 11-year-old decorative age. They are complete opposites. Mitch reminded Dave that they had plans tonight, which Mitch had completely forgotten about but acted like they didn't. That was when Dave's dad came to visit him so they hung up. Dave's father, who was quite disappointed in him, let Dave know that he was remarrying the next Friday. That evening, Mitch picks him up from Dave's house and he spends time with the children, who he believes are mentally retarded or disabled because they cannot speak. When they went to a bar to watch a baseball game, they took pictures and started chatting about life. Dave asks Mitch if he's dating him, and Mitch starts telling him about the woman he had a relationship with, Tatiana, who was really just using him as a trophy. Dave begins to wonder if he made the wrong decisions in life, settling down early and having a 9 to 5 when he could have gotten away with it all. Like like Mitch, but Mitch tells him he's jealous of his life and he can come home and feel loved every day. They then walked to a fountain because they both needed to pee, and while peeing, they both told each other that they wished they had each other's lives, and all the lights went out as if power off. The next morning, Mitch woke up and heard a baby crying. When he looked up next to him, he saw Dave's wife naked and breastfeeding. One of the twins, completely shocked by this, wakes up thinking he has slept with Dave's wife, but when he looks in the mirror he sees it is Dave. We then moved on to Dave. Now in Mitch's body. Waking up in his apartment, Mitch is at the door and when Dave opens the door, he tries to suffocate Mitch because he still thinks he's dreaming. When he realized it was actually real, he looked in the mirror and panicked. They realized that everything that happened was because of what they said at the fountain the night before so they ran towards the fountain, but when they got there it had disappeared, it was being restored, so they realized they would have to deal with it now. Later, Mitch goes to Dave's work because he has an important meeting that he's been waiting for months. When he arrived at the meeting, the room was packed because he was late. He tries to blend in, which turns out to be quite difficult, and then he's asked a bunch of things that no one who hasn't studied law would understand, so naturally he crashes the entire meeting at once. Dave and Mitch's body arrives on the set of a new movie in which he is supposed to star, but Mitch doesn't give him any details and when he arrives, Dave discovers so it's a porn movie. He starts acting out, and when he thinks things can't get any worse, Another guy walks in to join the scene. We cut to Mitch picking up Dave's daughter Kara from ballet practice, where he sees her being pushed around by another girl in the car on the way home. He asked her why she didn't do anything in response, so she told him it was because he told her to try to work things out verbally. Mitch tells him to forget about it, fight back ten times harder, and always solve his problems with violence. That night, Mitch and Dave realize how bad things have become and they decide enough is enough so they go to Dave's house and try to tell the truth to Jamie Dave's wife, but they are unsuccessful. Because Dave is trying to say that. It was something very personal that happened in the bedroom and she thought Mitch had told Dave so she left quite angry that night. Dave gets a call from Tatiana saying she's coming, he makes his decision and decides he has to go through with it. But when she walked in and took off her coat she was pregnant, very pregnant. This made Dave worried so she got angry because she thought he didn't love her anymore. I felt like pregnancy is a bit beyond liking someone. Alright, if you've made it this far you're kicking back and enjoying the video, now would be a great time to subscribe to film and animation recaps. Subscribing is absolutely free and it helps me bring you even more dope content. Okay, plug over. Back to the recap. That night, after seeing Jamie taking out the trash right in front of him, Jamie woke Mitch up at 3 in the morning because it was his turn to feed the twins. So he called Dave to ask what he should do. He follows Dave's instructions a little too literally, which turns the twins into killer babies for a second, and he ends up literally pouring milk on their heads. The next day, Dave tried to find the fountain but to no avail. When he got home to tell Mitch about it, 
he found Jamie crying and asked him what was wrong. She tells him that Dave doesn't pay enough attention to her and she feels lonely. Dave doesn't know she feels that way so he wants to start doing better, but of course he can't. So he tells Mitch he needs to do better and teaches him everything about being self. That day at work, Mitch was called Dave by his father and said he wanted to talk. They had lunch and his father asked Mitch to convince Mitch. Let me know when speaking at his wedding gets too confusing. He didn't want to ask Mitch himself because neither of them were good at expressing their feelings. He also tells Mitch, still in Dave's body, that he thinks Mitch is a quitter and wants him to achieve more and play a bigger role in his life. This further motivates Mitch to become a better version of Dave because he doesn't want to be a quitter like his father thinks. So he sets out to be a better father, showing up to work professional and run errands. That night, Mitch goes to Kara's ballet recital with Jamie and when the girl who pushed her before tries to do it again, Kara tackles her in front of the whole crowd and Mitch stands up clapped his hands saying it was her girlfriend that night. He even took the time to do it. More time with Jamie. And when he tries to please her, he can't seem to do it. Jamie says everything is fine and then Mitch falls asleep in his arms the next morning. Dave woke up at 6.45 am. But realized he had nothing to do. So he goes back to sleep and tries to enjoy his freedom as much as possible he goes to the movies tries to cook a meal for himself goes for a walk tries to ride a carriage and even visits the aquarium on that evening Dave had a date with this person. The woman who worked for him Mitch knew that he had been following them for years so she arranged a date for them in Mitch's body. Even though Dave had Mary. When they sit down. The woman Sabrina tells Dave that she only agreed to go on this date because her boss asked her to and she wants to keep her job. So Dave says that in case hey, they should leave but Sabrina said she was hungry. And she was all the way there so she could stay. They would stay for dinner and get along when they were done. Sabrina suggests doing something they'll really regret in the morning so they can both get tattoos and then. When Dave walks her home, she asks him to call her even if it's not the date. Date you the next day while she's ice skating. Dave gets a call saying they found the fountain. He goes to see Mitch who was also called but since then they've both been a bit sad. They were used to each other so decided to postpone changing for a bit that night while Jamie waited for Mitch, who was supposed to be her date. He was at work and he completely forgot about that day later. Dave goes on another date with Sabrina, what she asked him to do. They go to a baseball game while Mitch goes to the meeting where he is, preparing to sell the company and he ends up buying semi after his date with Dave. He takes Sabrina home and she tells him he's coming to hell. At the same time, Mitch gets an award from his firm for being the best lawyer theirs. But while his boss gives a speech about Dave's life, Mitch realizes that he shouldn't be the one receiving the award. And Dave simultaneously realized that he shouldn't mess with Sabrina as she reminded him of his daughter. So Dave ran to the city hall and kissed his wife, which convinced her that they were indeed telling the truth about their exchange and they came back at the fountain where it all started but when they arrived it was in the middle of a crowded shopping mall. They peed in the fountain with everyone looking at them and at the same time saying I wish I could having regained their lives. Mitch and Dave's lights disappear again. And the next day they both wake up in their own bodies. Dave reconciles with his wife and tells her that she and the kids are the most important thing to him. And then he will take care of the twins and Kara. When Mitch wakes up, Sabrina is at the door apologizing for being too strong last night before he tells her not to apologize because he probably acted gay last night. And they go to breakfast. Later that day, Mitch also attended his father's wedding to be his best man. We went to Jamie and Dave's birthday party. One month later, Mitch is now with Sabrina and Dave. And Jamie's marriage is better than ever. Dave asked Mitch if it would be strange that he missed his penis a little. And Mitch told him that it would be strange. Not at all. What do you think impressed you the most? Let me know in the comments. And of course, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for the next recap until next time.